Do you love music? Me too. But did you know the music you love could be damaging your hearing? Exposing yourself to noise levels around 100 decibels, which according to our recent research, is the average noise level of a city bar or small club in Leeds, for two hours or more will put your hearing at risk. We found that levels can peak at 126 decibels in some clubs around the Leeds city centre, which results in instant and in some cases permanent damage to your hearing. Listening to music at loud volume levels can damage your hearing permanently, and once you start to notice a problem, it's often too late to reverse the damage that is already done. Let me break it down like this. Exposure to loud noise is the biggest avoidable cause of permanent hearing damage worldwide. Noise-induced hearing damage often starts to affect your hearing around the frequencies of human speech, and as such losing these frequencies can seriously affect your social life. Our studies have shown that 50% of people aged between 18 and 29 visit clubs where the music is noticeably too loud two or three times a week. We also found that 58% of the people we surveyed were aware that exposure to loud sound damaged their hearing, but do not take precautions. Here's a question for you. Have you ever come out of a club and had a ringing sound in your ears, or has everything sounded dull? A lot of us have, but we don't realize it's actually due to the overexposure to loud sound. Your hearing usually recovers within 24 to 48 hours, but even these passing effects are damaging your hearing. Remember that temporary ringing should act as a warning that you have exposed your ears to a higher level of noise than they are comfortable with. If you let this happen frequently, then it is possible that the ringing or any dullness of hearing, or both, may become permanent. However, you may still be damaging your hearing, even if you don't have these symptoms. If your hearing does not recover completely after about 48 hours, the remaining loss is considered to be permanent. Simple steps such as wearing earplugs when in loud clubs can make a big difference to the amount of damage your ears are receiving. There are many different kinds of earplugs available, and these vary in quality and price but all of them will offer some sort of protection from the sound. If you regularly get these symptoms, you should be taking extra steps to protect your hearing. Permanent ringing, buzzing or other noise that you can hear in your ears are known as tinnitus. Excessive exposure to loud noise is one of the most common causes of tinnitus. Sometimes the first sign that your ear has been damaged by noise is the ringing tinnitus produces. Often this will fade, but if it keeps occurring, eventually the ringing will increase in volume, and the damage will be permanent. Here's a few ways you can protect yourself from losing your hearing. If you've ever been in a music venue where you can't talk to someone standing two meters away from you, there's a good chance you're in danger of damaging your hearing. To minimize the chances of damaging your hearing try not to stand directly in front of the speakers, wear earplugs and try to take breaks in quieter areas of the club or pub. With 20% of the people's hearing we tested already at a lower standard than expected for their age, noise-induced hearing loss is a definite problem. Anyway, I find listening to loud music with earplugs more enjoyable, as the sound becomes much clearer, and taking regular breaks from the louder areas of the clubs not only helps to limit the damage your ears are absorbing, but it also makes you cool. Thank you for taking the time to listen, and I'll leave you with a few things to remember. Hearing loss is irreversible. Once your hearing is damaged, there is no cure. Besides hearing is great for the enjoyment of music, a big part of socializing, communicating and enjoying yourself. Your ears love you, so do them a favor and take my advice, it will show them you love them too.